everybody, welcome to Kids Cooking and Crafts. I'm Chef Ava, and today I will be showing you how to make a DIY Easter treat. Because it's springtime and the birds are coming out, and it's time for ice cream. <sighs> so, I'm gonna teach you how to make a Easter egg cotton candy donut nest. Let's do this thing. The things we will need will be cotton candy, donuts, some chocolate Easter eggs, and a little bit of water with a paintbrush. Do not mess with me. First things first, you wanna grab your donut, and let's get our carton candy out. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. It's in a nice little tube. It's a cotton candy bazooka. Boom! <laughs> okay, so you wanna grab your water and your cotton candy, but first you wanna get your water and just kind of uh, We're putting the water on so that the cotton candy can stick to the donut. And then you wanna grab your cotton candy. Ooh, I'm just gonna get this. Just kind of gonna make a little fluffy nest for the bird eggs. All right, there we go. Now let's do a blue one. Let's get it. Open that up. Ooh. Mmm, that tastes like blueberries. All right, let's just go around like this. Okay, there we go. And then just gonna grab some of this right here and just kind of make it really wispy. Ooh, that looks pretty. Just gonna grab a little bit more. And just kind of make it like this. Mm. There we go. Ta-da! See how they're kind of cup shaped and look like a nest? And what goes in the nest? You're right, some eggs. Our eggs are gonna be chocolate. I'm just gonna put like three or four in here. Put one more. This is like a super, super sweet treat. They're all cozy and warm. And once they've hatched, they can eat something sweet. What do you guys think? Does it look like a sweet treat? And what's up, duck? This carrot's pretty good, but I'm gonna try our Easter treat. Which one do I choose? They all look so delicious. Guys, which one's your favorite? Frank, John, Adam, Scarlett, or Bob? All right, let's see how it tastes. Oh, oh. oh so much sugar. Mm, this is good. Oh, that's delicious. Um. Oh, Bob. You're my new favorite. Mm, delicious. And there you have it. That's your Easter treat. Mm. Thank you guys so much for making this Easter treat with me today. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Have a very happy Easter, everybody. Bye. I'm just gonna put this one in my basket to eat for later. <laughs> Mine. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Kids Cooking Crafts. I'm Princess Ava, and today we will be showing you how to make bubble gum and chocolate candy Easter cupcakes. To help me with this yummy treat, I have here my friendly little bunnies. So we already have our cupcakes made.
Mmm, chocolate! <laughs> and the other ingredients are pink sprinkles, marshmallows, candy, because these ones are bubblegum, and these ones are chocolate. Mmm, chocolate! <laughs> Last but not least, frosting! We'll be making two different kinds of cupcakes. The first one will be a bird nest. Let's put the grass in our nest using green frosting. That is bloop, bloop, bloop. Sound effects are not required, but they're really cool. Ooh, ah! Yay! Finally, my turn. <laughs> it takes muscle. Get out of my face before I bite yours off. <laughs> Mean bunnies. Now we just have to put the egg in the nest. Yay! I'm gonna choose pink, yellow, and blue. I'm gonna choose the chocolate one, pink, yellow, and white. They're so cute. Yeah. Time to move on to cupcake number two. We will be making Easter bunnies. <laughs> now we're gonna frost our cupcakes to make them look like fuzzy little bunnies. They're gonna look so cute. Aww, like a fluffy little cloud. Now we're gonna make the fuzzy bunny ears. So what we're gonna do for this is we are gonna cut them slanted sideways like that. And then we're gonna cut that slant again in half. So now we are going to dip them in these pink sprinkles so that they look just like mine. <laughs> All you have to do is one little dip because it comes up very well. Yeah, because the marshmallows are already go. sticky. So. And then your frosting should have it stick. Cute! <laughs> You're so cute! It's so fluffy, I'm gonna die! This one turned out really good. Whoa! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Aren't they so cute? Now for the finishing touch. All we're gonna do, you're gonna add a cute little pink nose to it. So cute. Oh. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for making this Easter treat with us. <laughs> Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below on what we should make next. Bye! Bye! <laughs> hey guys. Hi hey guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Cooking and Crafts, I'm Ava, and today I will be showing you how to make a DIY super secret stash book. Let's get right into it. The things you will need is some decoupage, a paintbrush, a bowl, a box cutter, a permanent marker, a thick book, a ruler, and some plastic wrap. First, you wanna skip some pages in the front of your book. Grab your ruler, and you wanna make sure that your lines are straight, and just go and leave a little bit of space in between and then just like make your lines like that. And we're gonna cut out inside of the rectangle using a box cutter. These are really sharp, so my cameraman is gonna help us. Right, cameraman? Great.
For this next step, we will be using this decoupage. It's seriously like Elmer's glue. We don't want the front of our book to be sticky, so we're, gonna, we're just gonna wrap it up with some saran wrap. So I put a rubber band here so that the saran wrap can stay in place. Now I'm just gonna get our glue and paint around the edges so that the pages can stay together. This will dry clear, so it's okay if you be a little messy. You just wanna make sure that you get all of the edges. Now time to do the inside. This is the tricky part because you don't want the glue on top of the page because if you shut the book, it will get glued together. And so we're just gonna do it on the inside around the edges. Don't let it drip. Oh yeah! Oh, this is gonna look so cool when we're finished. There we go. We're all finished. Now we have to put something heavy on it and so that it will dry flat. How about a gumbo machine? You have a few of those laying around your house, don't you? Now we'll let it dry for a couple of hours. But for you, it will only feel like two seconds. One, two. See, told you so. All right, just gonna. All right, let's see how it's doing. Whoa, this is so smooth. Will it pick up? <laughs> nope. Yeah, I think it's pretty solid. Okay, if we go in here. Ooh, yeah, that's good. Will it come up? Nope. All right, let's take off the saran wrap. Hmm, I wonder what's on page 19. Whoa! What? My whole hand can fit in this thing. Look, it won't open. Oh. Guys, what should be hiding it? <laughs> this is so cool. Let's see what else we can hide in this baby. Whoa, it's money! All of my jewels. Hmm, what else could fit in my super secret stash book? Aha! It's Belle! Oh wow, she's so cute. Fits perfectly. <gasps> it's the key to my diary. Cause I wanna keep my diary super secret. They're Lego guys! Whoa! This is so cool! I wonder what else we can fit in here. Ooh, my trusty flashlight! Ooh! Ring pop, anyone? Ooh! Do you like my rings? Definitely need to hide these from my brother. <gasps> it's R2-D2! He's my favorite character of Star Wars. Thank you guys so much for making this DIY super secret stash book with me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below on what you would fit in your secret stash book. Bye!